So I was at the beach today. Just quickly this morning, I had to go pick out, I don't know if you guys have garage sales where you're at, but uh, we got garage sales, it's like a thrift store, people sell stuff, they just leave it outside, you leave the money and you go pick it up. So I bought something, but when I was down there, I went to the beach, found some cedar, that's uh, super light, it's not first growth, it's second growth, but it's still nice, it's super soft cedar, so that's a score. So I have a plan, I'm going to show you guys what I bought on garage sales. Super cool. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, and today I'm just going to do it. I bought this old lamp for, uh, I think it's copper, or maybe it's brass, but um, you can see the bottom there lights up. So I bought this old lamp. Let's plug it in. Ten bucks. How can you go wrong? It's not too big. I got some other big, huge, old cast iron ones. But what I want to do today with this is I want to get a log, hollow out inside the log, and put the lamp inside the log. I can feel this already getting warm, so I think you might need to probably use an LED light inside if you're going to do this. Super easy to um, change the light bulb. See, this comes down. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. Ha <laughs> ha! So let's go into the Carving Fusion Warehouse. So we got this nice big old chunk of cedar. But I'm going to save that for another project. That one's perfect. That's a little bit too short. Well, maybe not. And there's another one in there that's too short. I think I found one in here. Um, yep, there's just some standby carvings. So um, this one's going to the spirit trails. I think I found this piece. Um, let's see here. So yeah, I got this piece. I don't. This is cedar. It's super hard. I don't really like it. I don't really like carving it. But so what I'm going to do is wheel this in, get a hole cut in here. I'll make it so there's two front posts, and it's all hollow inside. I don't know. I'll try it. If you screw up, who cares anyways? So I'll get this into the uh, shed and we'll start carving it. I'll tell you guys one thing right now. This chain is sharp. Well, it's kind of sharp. It's sharp as I can make them sharp. I don't know if this is cedar. Smell the wood. Um... Well, I just don't know. This log is heavy. It's like probably, I don't know, 250 pounds, 300 pounds. I had to lay it down to cut the bottom flat. Well, I didn't cut it, but I laid it down. I could barely even stand it back up. That's how heavy this log is. So I don't know if it's cedar, but whatever. So now I'm going to mark in a hole, pull up my gas saw, cut a hole. I want to try and leave the back on this. So there's just like a post here and a post here. And then, yeah, I don't know. It's just something I've always wanted to do. Don't care if it doesn't work out. But this is not turning into a three-day project. I'll tell you that much right now.
You know, we're all human and there's nothing wrong or illegal about having visions. We're all allowed to have our own visions. Um, they don't call me Bad Cut Johnson for nothing. So there we go. Bad Cut Johnson, that's easy to clean up. This is red cedar. It is soaking wet. I bet you this log has been floating in the ocean and the river for about, I'd say it's first growth. I'd say about a good whatever years. So I want to give a shout out to uh, one of the, uh, I guess, kind of admins on my YouTube. His name's Evil Rick. He, I know today is Tuesday, and he's at his uh, one of his best friend's funerals today. So uh, this one's for you, Evil Rick, today. It's dedicated to you. I think what I'm going to do now I'm not, I don't want to spend too much time on this. I think I'm going to carve a tree down here. And this, you see here, this is all punky wood. It's just kind of rotten. Now I wonder, let's see here. I wonder if I could carve out a moon and carve it through here. Because this, this light has a bottom light on it too. And if the bottom light can shine through and then you'll just see a hollow moon there with a solid tree. And I don't know what I'm going to do here. I might just leave, clean it up and just leave it, right? I don't want to spend too much time on this piece. So anyways, what I'm going to do is freaking I got my owl on the jack stand. That's still to come. So I'm going to have to sit on my chair and curve out a tree. So I'm not going to film carving that, but I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Keep your head up, Evil Rick. I know it's hard to lose a friend and uh, loved ones. Thinking about you today, buddy. Okay. So things kind of change. Changed. I said, screw it. I'm going to carve a little base in there. Um, this is all chainsaw carving. I have not hit it with a die grinder yet. I did hit it with the sander. This is just fantasy, everybody. Just showing you how to open up your minds, kind of, I guess. Um, trees carved in. I don't have a torch here, so I'm going to have to finish this tomorrow. But uh, what I'm going to do now is pull out the die grinder. This guy kind of looks a little bit like an ape, so I think I'll push this lip back a bit. Maybe that's what it is. But I just, I, I just want the silhouette of a face in there. Also, I carved through, right through down, under here this wood is soaking wet so the light when the light's shining down here it's going to shine on this face too see the hole so i'm going to touch that face up doesn't matter it's not a big deal it's just fantasy oh another thing i forgot to say this wood i'm 99 percent sure and this is a warning beware to all the wood carvers out there this wood is old kerosene oil. I think it's called kerosene, you know, the oil that they do for pylons. Old kerosene oil. I could start smelling it. If you look here, that should have been a symbol for me right there that that's what that is. So I haven't had my dust mask the whole time on carving this. Who knows? Maybe it'll take a couple years off my life. That should have been a signal right here too because cedar doesn't go black like that usually so that's why the wood's so wet on the end soaking wet because the oil the wood would get the the water would get in through the cracks but the oil would keep the water on the inside don't carve kerosene oil wood or care whatever big black thick oil shit okay so it's now the next day in this uh video here um, I'm going to make this all one video. See, there's the carve in the face down there. I don't know if I showed you. I refined it a bit. It's just a uh, fantasy face now. Um, 
Okay. So this light, I, I decided that I wanted to paint it black. So I took it all apart, had to cut the wiring, um, painted this light thing. Um, I got this light out, this glass thing out. So I'm going to paint it, scuff it up, then give it a clear coat and reassemble it. And anybody that messes with wiring, make sure you know what you're doing because, you know, it's a good way to kill yourself or, get, or burn down your house. So just make sure you know what you're doing if you're going to do that sort of stuff. And I also got some more gas for that, more propane, because I want to burn in here deep, flaps, flaps on it. And for in here, I figure I'm just going to do like quick cuts. I don't, I don't really want to carve too much today, because when I went home last night, I was all stuffed up from carving this wood, because I wasn't wearing my dust mask, my own fault. And then this morning, when I was blowing my nose, I was blowing it so hard because I was so plugged up, Blood started coming out. It's my own fault. I got nobody to blame but myself. Okay, so I got a moon carved up there and I carved in a quick tree. And just gave it some textures here, just quickly. Um, like I said already, this wood is soaking wet. So what I'm going to do now is burn it, burn it, sand it. I want the background to be, and I might even paint this uh, moon red. I might even paint some of this tree green just to get some colors in there. Okay, so I'm going to do that. Burn it, sand it, and maybe paint it. Okay, so we got that part done. It just kind of tells a little story, that's all. Um, now what I'm going to do with this face down here is I'm going to burn this really deep um, and give it like kind of a Shosugi ban and see what comes up, comes up of it. Um, I might even paint it red to go, kind of go along with the moon i'm not too sure and yeah well i'll just get that done too Okay, so between carving this owl, which is yellow cedar, very pungent on the lungs, and this kerosene oil log, 100%, this is kerosene oil, whatever you say, because, you know, anyways, it is 100%, but that's what we got so far. I figured that I put some color up there from the moon and the tree. I'll just hit the face a bit, give it some color down there too. So this piece, I still got to friggin clean up below the tree ah fuck Okay, sorry, the microphone that I've been using just broke, so, and my speaker on my camera phone thing here I use does not work very good, so I gotta kinda yell. So, but, you can see it's all kind of done. I'm done with this piece. Probably gonna kill me with all the oils that I've sucked in. Um, I'm gonna, this stuff, even though I've said this wood is wet wood, okay, this stuff here, does dry on wet wood so I'm gonna give this whole thing a clear coat to lock it up because it's gonna start cracking more hair and I don't want it to crack more so anyways okay so it's it's all dry now 
But what I'm going to do now is take that um, light home and put it back together at home. And then I'll come back tonight when it's dark out and we'll see how it looks. Yep. Okay, so here I'm at my Dremel carving table. I got this white down because I got some little tiny screws that I need to use. And I, I don't want the screws to fall through the holes. And I figured I'd do this here. It's safe. I won't lose the net and screws because if I drop one of these where I chainsaw carve, I'm never going to find it. So here's kind of like uh, I painted it and I scuffed it up. This one I kind of got out of hand. <laughs> but whatever, who cares, right? So um, I want to just tell a little story here. It's called, um, well, when I was, okay, have you guys ever heard of, what, what, what is it here? Let me get this tape off this glass. I hate the word stupid. I don't think anybody's stupid. When I was called stupid when I was younger, like we're talking elementary school, maybe even high school, it would always kind of get me into a fight. I, I just, it's just such a, it's just such a bad thing calling somebody stupid or dumb. So if your kids do that, hopefully you get them to stop. But um, so when I was in the friggin', how am I going to do this? When I was in the hardware store getting the clear coat and the black paint. It just seemed like everybody, everybody was walking so slow and getting in, getting in your way. And it's just like, it's just, I'm, I just, I was ready to freaking snap. It's, um, why is this not fitting in there now? Well, I'll figure it out, but I was ready to freaking snap with these slow people. And it's just kind of, and you have to think it is what it is, you know, don't do anything you're gonna to go to jail so maybe this way it goes in so they're just so slow and they get in your way and then you're coming down an aisle and they don't even look to, to move out of your way so I'm just like man these people are slow so that's the that's the slow part so then I then I'm like okay screw it I'm gonna there was a Tim Hortons there Tim Hortons coffees are two dollars uh, Starbucks coffees are like for the large ones are like four dollars or something like that so I order my it's a drive-thru I order my coffee I order a blonde because I, I don't drink Starbucks every day. I drink it maybe once a month just to spoil myself, get a better coffee. And I'm, okay, I'm going to go through Starbucks. I, I, I go through there. Can I get a, I don't say grande or the size. I say, uh, can I get a large blonde? So anyways, long story short, I get my large large blonde, which I paid, I think, $4 for it. Or th I don't know what it was. $3. But. Halfway home, because when you get Starbucks coffee, it's super hot, and I don't like hot coffee. I like it kind of warm, and I like it cold. So halfway home, I go to sip on it, and there was no cream. And I ordered a double-double, so that's two sugars, two creams, and two packs of honey, because I like honey in my coffee. Halfway home on the highway, we're talking like this is 20 minutes away from where I carve. Halfway home to the carving station, I'm on the highway, I open my coffee, go to have a sip, and it was black. No cream, no sugar. No friggin', no honey. That's stupid. That pissed me off. So that's that. I officially call today, I think it's November, November 6th or 5th, Slow Stupid People Day. That's the day it is. Mark it on your calendars, everybody. Slow Stupid People Day. I'll get this back together, and we'll go see what it looks like when uh, it's dark out. Okay, okay. Just car Rob. I couldn't find a red bulb, but I found a four dollar orange bulb from the dollar store. Okay, okay. Okay, so the sun is slowly setting or sinking. Sunset. Yeah, sunset. The sun is so slowly sinking. And um I'm gonna carve a skull guy on one of these pieces of wood tomorrow uh live so it'll be thursday or let's say friday because i'm not feeling good so let's say friday i'll carve a skull thing out of one of these pieces of wood but anyways so here i am i got my head set from home if i didn't say that there's the carving you guys i did carve a hole way up in here <laughs> comes out right here for the power 
I'm going to put a steel plate over this another day so water can't get it down in there inside the lighting and get into the electrical. So, but um, let me get the light. i got to screw it up here. So let's get the light in and see how she looks. He looks. Whatever it is looks. Okay, the lighting is in place. The lighting is in place. I kind of like the uh, copper or the brass look and the black. It kind of blends in with it good. You can see. It's going to look this way. Fun project. Wrong type of wood. That's for sure. If I didn't say it already, sign your pieces. You know, I wish I could have got a black uh, power cord, but I was at the hardware store today and I couldn't find the right cord. So I was just kind of like, whatever, I'll use the white one. So let's plug it in. I got this already set up here. There we go. It has been lit. The elder of the twin trees. Yep, that's the name of this one, Big L. Elder of the twin trees. So you got a tree here. They're blowing in the wind. You got the tree back there. It's blowing in the wind. You know, you really can't see the tree because the light's there. But if you look on the side, yeah, you can see a tree there. You can see the moon. This is a little story time. That's all. Story time by Carbon Fusion. Okay, so let me turn these lights on. We'll have another look. Turn the lights off. Come on. Okay, lights are off. Let me close the tent door. Oops. Maybe I shouldn't uh, walk across this wire. So there's the elder. The light coming through there. I know it's hard to see on videos with these, uh, but it does its job. It sure does. Like I'm going to turn off this light so you can see how dark it would be without this light on right now. Okay, so that's how dark it is without the light. No, the light's off. It's still not that dark out, right? So it's you can see the light in the background and light over here and stuff. But whatever, it's a fun project. If you got an old lamp kicking around, you can also use solar lights too, right? So let's plug it back in. Super fun project. I think it would be great for anybody's cabin. Or even maybe it might be great for my front yard. Okay, too bad I didn't have a red light. Let's try that, uh, let's try that orange light. Okay, so the orange light's there. Look in the center of the screen. It's not turned on yet, but three, two, one. Oh, actually, I like the orange light a lot better. Imagine how cool a red light would look. Also, one of those LED uh, color changing lights. I'm going to be ordering one of those um, when I get home from Amazon. There you go, everybody. So if I wanted this to sh make this face, like so you can see his cheeks and stuff better, I would just carve down the eyebrows a bit. And then you might be able to, if I, if I take the eyebrows like lower, push it back, then you might be able to see more thing. But I don't care. I like it the way it is. That's it, everybody. I'm not going to keep going on, 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 on and on. Um, now I got to go home and rest. I'm going to be carving live on Thursday or Friday. What's today's Tuesday? This video will be out Wednesday. So I'll be carving a funny skull Halloween thing live. Uh, let's say 12 o'clock Pacific time, my time. So you guys can chat amongst each other. I'm not very good at carving skulls. It's just fun. I just kind of give her. That's it. Carving Fusion. Over and out. When are you going to start making some videos, Studio on the Lake?
Hey everybody, I just want to take a minute here to talk about um, your dusk mask and how important it is to wear. Um, I'm suffering right now for not wearing the dust mask enough when I was using the, when I was carving the yellow cedar and this wood because there was oil in it. There's no excuses. Um, when I use my chainsaw, I don't wear a dusk mask, but when I use my sander or like my um, die grinders and my cut solvers, I always wear a dusk mask. But now things are changing going to change for me when i'm using my chainsaw you're always going to see me with a dusk mask on i'm going to order some on off amazon right now it's um it's your lungs everybody it's how you breathe it's how you get oxygen to your brain so i can't stress it enough wear, please wear your dusk masks you know we all want to keep you around we all want you to have fun and um just get the dusk mask and wear it please thanks